Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Cage door set to close. Luke Dermott fighting out of the blue corner in the black and orange King Star shorts, taking on Davey Larmore from IR Hit Squad. Cage door closed. Our referee, Simon Stadnicki. We touch gloves, and away we go, Carl. And they are wasting no time here. They're all trying to go for the takedown. Very aggressive to do so as well. Yeah, straight in on that body lock, forced his man up against the cage, and straight away those big foot stomps and pulls his man down. And can look, looks like he can settle into the half guard if he wants. It's wide open. He could probably slip that leg out to side control, but seems happy controlling his man at the moment. Good job from Dermot, though. You can see the way he's positioned that knee. Just kick him away like that and get back to his feet. Good oh. job. And then a big left hand. Larmer, though, pushing forward constantly. Knees up the middle. Trying to transition to that single. A... Just trying to keep his man off balance up against the cage there. Luke Dermott keeping that knee shield in place, trying to oh, knee to the body. Got to be careful not to give up his back here. You've got to feel, you got, got the feeling that that's what Larmer was looking for there, try to sweep around to the back. But again, happy to, uh, happy to embrace the grind and the clinch work here. Good head positioning from the hit squad man. Oh, guillotine. He was wise to it. Very nice steps over in the side control and. I, my favorite technique that I think is completely underused is the knee to the body here. Yes. And, and it, force your man up against the cage. Start softening them up with some big knees to the body, especially from side control. He tried to step over there, but has he been caught in the half? Been caught in the full guard. Good work by Luke Dermott there. Dermott keeping very active off his back here. Yeah, he... Not going wild like throwing up tons of submissions, but he's keeping Larmer honest and taking very little damn. The only thing, though, is the control time off the back. Don't matter what judge in the world, unless you are consistently throwing up the throwing up the submissions, you're not winning a fight on your back. Looking for an ankle lock here, a knee bar. And there's the tap! <laughs> little bit of everything on display there from the... Fire hit squad, fighter. And of course, an amateur, there's no heel hooks, there's no... Wonderful submission there. David Larmer shows a little bit of everything, and Luke Dermott shows a great fight IQ up until he got caught. It was a very good performance from both men there, Lama especially. I think he deserved the win as well. I think he was dictating most of the pace in that first round. Uh, very persistent with the pressure game. And I was surprised to see it end by, uh, by a um, leg-based submission, but... Well, you know, Almighty is pretty known for that. Last week we had Summer Onley win the women's, uh, I think, Bantam weight amateur championship with a knee bar. We get another one today, so the leg finishers come fast and furious at Almighty Fighting Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll give a quick shout out to Eric's Fight Gear, Feel Supreme, and CH Productions. Let's turn it over to Mr. Seth Khan to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after 2 minutes, 27 seconds, the first round, referee, Mr. Simon Stepney, calls a stop to the fight. Declaring your winner by Anchor Lord, Baby! 